Hey guys, happy National Ceiling Fan Day, um, 2023, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through my house and show you all the ceiling fans in my house and collection, along with my portables, my desk fans. Um, I guess I'll just start with the portables first, but a couple of these I won't be able to run because of problems, which I'll get to. So some of them are plugged in, most of them are plugged in, but so I'll start right here. Um, here's my Galaxy 2150. It's from mid 80s. I'll start on the This fan works good. I haven't done anything to it since I got it, but for some reason, whenever I like move it, whenever it um, goes to that side, it starts to screech a little. I don't know why. It's medium. Still runs good, even with that messed up blade. to the next fan, which is the Panasonic F1205, which is from 1982, I believe. That's what I just say. Um, but yeah, Panasonic logo. Start on low. You stay off. You, I don't use you. <laughs> um, recently, this fan, the front cage has been rattling, if you can hear. I don't know, but it's mainly on low speed. It's weird. I don't get it. Medium. And yeah, there is definitely a lot to go over this year since last year. I probably should clean this again. It's getting a little dusty on the blade since I've been bringing it down to Delaware lately. I've been using it almost all day long along with that one. Now this one, here's a deal um, G, G12 AJ16. And I'm not going to use this one, I'm sorry, but because, look how close that is to the guard, and like, I don't want this to be running, and then all of a sudden it stops, because it like, hits that, I know it won't do that, but just like, in case, you know, I'm sorry, but, but then, we'll move on to the Dominion 2015. Um, so, yeah. Since it's just, oh, my god. Yeah, my bad. Um, anyways, um, I'll start this. Well, it's single speed, so it's just gonna be going on. Here it is. I haven't done basically anything to this fan at all. Since the last time you saw it. But for some reason, it kind of, like, rattles sometimes. Like, it vibrates. Which is kind of weird, but whatever. And whenever I tell someone who's my, what is my most, what is your favorite fan of my whole entire collection, mostly everyone likes this one. I don't know why. I, th I think it's just in, it's such in good shape. But everyone likes this fan. Including me. And it's just in good shape, too. 
really in good shape. Okay, next fam. Here is my latest one. The GE. Uh, oh no. I forgot the model name. My bad. Um, but it's um, General Electric. Um, oh, it's V1919. One nine four five one four. Yeah, that's it. But here it is. So I'll start it up on low speed. <clears throat> Gonna go all the way down here. And I do have to. And I haven't gotten the correct screw for the um, oscillator, so it's kind of stationary still. What the heck was that? I like stalled for a second. Um, but the only thing I did to this fan is I um, blowed out the motor with um, all the disgusting crap that came out of it. So I got all that out. And now you can see through the rotor. And if you look through the back, you can see the front. And I also opened up the bottom to see what the speed coil looks like. And that's in good shape. A lot of cobwebs, but I cleaned it up. Medium. This fan still works good. And if you can't tell, it's in the corner. All the fans. And it's from 1936. I forgot to mention. I believe this is the... This is the 12 inch because the 10 inch are 3 blade and then the 12 inch are 4 blade. High speed. Definitely the oldest and the most powerful fan I have. And the tallest. Gee, I wonder why. I'd also like to find the matching desk fan of this. That would be so cool. That's it for that one. These two are the other two that I'm not going to be able to run. Because, well, this one, it has a sticky switch. If you would turn it on, then it would go. But whenever you want to turn it off, it kind of like sticks. I either need to replace it or I need to do a little bit. Not just that, and also it kind of like tilts back, if you can't tell, because there's no support on the back motor. So I gotta, yeah, this is a handy breeze, and I gotta find like some support thing for that, so I can run it more. And then here is the lively air, which um, I'm not gonna use this one either because. Um, it has that bad buzzing sound, and also it um, the one wire is barely holding on, and I don't want that to catch fire. So that's another one that's not going to be running. But this one is the Kenmore Sears, which I also forgot the model name. But whatever, single speed. It's on stationary. It's on stationary. Haven't really done anything to this fan either. I don't know why it makes that weird sound. It's kind of annoying. Really goes though. I have been using this fan um, for my games, um, like whenever I'm playing um, video games, I have been using this down there. So. Shut off. There's that one. Um, and then here is the Galaxy 3703. 
1968. Uh, where's the switch? Yeah, right there. Um, I forget what's first. Whatever first. I guess I'm gonna do it. All I know is it's backwards from that one, but I forget what that one starts at. I think this is high. Yeah, it's high. Okay, yeah, that's high. I bet. This one's the same. I haven't done anything to it. Well, it's kind of rusty up in there. Probably shouldn't do something to that. So there's that one. I'm moving on to ceiling fans now. Um... So here's my Huntington 3, um, and I took the um, DC-52 out because I miss having a light, and um, I had this fan up previously from the um, DC-52, and I kind of missed this fan, and so I just want to put it back up, and so here it is. Um, still didn't fix that yet. I don't really care. I'm not in curry. Here's high. Hampton Bay logo. Turn this one. This is my cut switch. This is my cut switch for that one because the wiring, I don't want it to like blow up whenever I'm not home. Which it probably won't, but you never know. Especially with that head wire. Blades are kind of bouncy because they're so droopy. But. but yeah, that's a Huntington 3. Almost a 2 there. Uh, over here. My parents' bedroom. Still have the Beach Creek. Uh, this thing's been up forever, I feel like. Um, but this is the only fan they like. My mom's always really picky about what fan she has in her room. So, but, here, that's low, but here's high. Probably should clean it again. It's getting kind of dirty. Dirty. Still works fine. I'm not shaking a little bit. I don't know why it's doing that. Turn back to low. Down the mult right there. In the living room. Carriage house two. Still here. Um so yeah. I like this thing. I always like the finish. Here's high. Those bulbs always rattle in it. Oh, there's a cobweb on that light. Let me clean it. You never notice anything until you're recording, which is kind of annoying. But now it kind of does sway a little bit, wobbles just a tad because that mounting box I think got loose over a little bit, and so now it's kind of like loose but still secure, I think. Um, but it just wobbles a little bit. And this is basically the only fan that has a light that fits in this living room with all the things on here. I'll turn it back to low. Go to the kitchen. Got the Hampton Bay San Marino still here. Oh, it's just low. Oh, that was on medium. My bad. I'll turn it back to low. This is normal on medium all the time. But, um. It has a burnt out light bulb, though. Which I probably need to change. That's 
That's the second bulb I had in that one. But I'm running out of bulbs really quick. And I need to... Here's high. I need to swap it. But yeah, it's still in here. Still working. It's almost... It's on. Not 24-7, but it's on at least one point a day. Yeah, for two hours or something like that, but... Man, that's the only small fan with a light that matches the kitchen here. Which my parents are thinking about remodeling this kitchen soon. So, we'll figure out what fan will go in here next. So, yeah. But yeah, now I'll go downstairs. So here we are, downstairs now, with all the fans in here. I know there are blank spots, like that one and the one back there, but I ran out of time, unfortunately. So I ran out of time and I couldn't find any fans out of, I know, out of this pile, but, um, but I guess I'll start with the fans on the ceiling, then I'll work my way down here. But I know it's a little bit messy, I tried to clean it up, at least you can get back there, so it's okay. But, start them on low, I guess. Here's a Hampton Bay menu at three. Here's the Regency. It's Harbor Breeze Lakeside 2. It's a Hunter Passport 2. Right here. Animation Islander. Got moved from there. And now I'm going from here. Here's the Uncon Chili Pepper. Just in the back corner here. Sorry about the background noise. My parents are watching TV. That thing's so buzzy back there. Why can't you be quiet? It's always busy. Well, it's an well, it's an end con. So. But if you can't tell, I kind of have like a vibe going on here, like this air, like this area right here. It's kind of like um, two thousands, like nineties, two thousands, and like retro designs because you got the chili pepper with the crazy finish and the blades, like unique fans. And you got the Islander with the cool blades and then the interesting finish. And the Passport 2, which is a basic hunter from the 2000s. An antique brass. And then the Lakeside 2, which has like a unique pattern on it. And then the Regency with this, with the cool blades and then the cool finish. And then we got the minuet two right here, which kind of goes with the. All these are kind of like either basic or interesting fans. Besides that one, which is kind of like a generic hunter, but I'm just I'm not gonna put them all on high. I'm just gonna put them on high individually. Show them. This one still wobbles like crazy. Gotta take out that pink blade and like redo it. What's wrong with it? It has a really bad wobble. Regency. This one also wobbles kind of bad. Sways. Even the junction box moves too, which is so nice. Thanks to the whips. Big cast iron motor in there. Spinner. Excuse me, it's a beast. Lakeside too. Tiki guy. Well, this thing still is kind of slow. I have no idea why it is, but it's basically like a medium speed. 
I have no clue what's the pass the capacitor is fine. I checked it multiple times and it's fine, but I don't know, maybe it's the motor that's going out. I don't know clue. Here's a passport too. This thing still goes. Wobbles a hair, but barely. Once again, like I said millions of times, I love this fan. Because not just childhood, but I just think it's a cool hunter. So it's that one. There's that one. There's the Islander. The long cool chain now. Because the original one broke. Unfortunately, this thing still goes. I don't know why, it just has a lot of rattles and stuff like that whenever it's on high speed. Off. Then here is the Uncon Chili Pepper. Oh, chili. So there's a violent shake I hate. Which I still think that globe falls down, but it doesn't. Hasn't. Hasn't yet. Which is a good thing. So. I'm hoping it doesn't. Love that Encon pool train. They just have a little smiley face that my grandma got. But anyways, moving down to fans on the floor. Now this mess. I know. We don't talk about it, but um right here I try and keep like glass fitters and stuff like that. Um this is where I have like all the parts and stuff like that. So like kits. And then down here we have the glass. So through here, you probably recognize some of the glass of other fans. And then down here we have blades, blades, blades. Even though there's blades up here, which I still need to put in, but I'm trying. I wanted to try and get this video up by tonight, so before the sun goes down. <clears throat> but I have all the blades down here, well, most of them. I have a couple odds and ends blades and I have a couple fans through here and there's a lot through here is that vibrating yeah it's vibrating I don't know why I didn't do that before it's a hunter it's supposed to be quiet that's breaking their roll how dare you but um here are all these fans. I don't feel like naming all of them because there's just a lot. I'll just pam. Yeah, you're driving me insane, buddy. Here's the blades. Yeah, the blades are vibrating. Then we have all this over here. Oh yeah, the Urban Jet. Yeah, you can see I have it all apart. And the reason is, is because I was using it one time um, upstairs I was using it and um, for whatever on oscillate and then the oscillator thing broke it just like the screw came out of its socket and I tried to put it back but then it's like stayed at this like point and I have no clue so I'm gonna have to get my dad to figure it out and see what's going on and we have all these fans um, I have most of the mounting brackets here. Um, then like a couple odds and ends right there. And I have my workbench with all my tools. And then I have a couple motors. I have the Chatham motor. Um, Cause I'm working on something. Um, so that screw right there, it's just, like messed up and I gotta try and like bend it back or something like that. But I've been busy recently and so I can't get to all of it. But yeah.
that was my fan collection for 2023. So yeah, happy National Swimming Fan Day, everyone. Um, so yeah, that's it. Bye.